Hey, welcome to this Windows channel. And today, for those that are a little more advanced than the beginning Windows user, um, I will discuss a very useful command that can help you fix hard drives, thumb drives, and also manually uh, do things that very often uh, the Windows um, manager does not let you do. And it's a command called disk part. Now, if you're a, uh, a Windows user that plays a lot with computers, um, one of the things you might know is that you can right click on this PC and click the manage button, which will bring you the possibility to manage hard drives, thumb drives on your computer. The problem with that is that because of the way it works and it's dependent on Windows, it sometimes doesn't let you do some of the things that you might need to do. So to do so, you have a powerful command called disk part. Simply right click on the start button, go into the command prompt with administrative rights and click yes. Once you're in the command prompt, all you have to do is click uh, or write disk part. It's a utility that is extremely powerful lets you partition hard drives, expand hard drives or merge partitions. It lets you um, create different types of partitions that might be needed for uh, what you need to do. So with disk part, for example, you can change a partition to a GPT partition instead of an MBR partition, um, depending on the usage you want to have. You want to know what are the commands? Simply type command and press enter and here you'll have a look at all the commands that are available. So you can mark partitions as active, add mirror to simple volume, you can assign a drive letter manually here, attach a virtual disk, attribute all sorts of uh, different um, attributes basically <laughs> to the, the hard drive or to the thumb drive. Uh, of course you can uh, reduce the size of a physical file or you can convert a partition from one to the other, create a volume, delete, detach, virtual disks, expand, extend. There's the file systems that you can play with. You can format a drive. There's a lot of stuff that you can do here. So I suggest that everybody that plays around with, you know, external hard drives, thumb drives and everything, um, use this command to do a lot of different little stuff. Now here, this is not a lesson on how to use it but it's more of a video to actually tell you that it exists and that it's something very useful. If you've got some problems with a hard drive, for example, or a thumb drive, you can maybe recover thanks to this. And actually, the next video I'm gonna do after this, I'm gonna show you how to recover a USB thumb drive that Windows does not recognize and have it back as a working uh, thumb drive. This happens very often. The thumb drive is invisible. You plug it in, doesn't work, or you try to use it and even though you want to format it or do, um, you know, maybe place some files on it, it doesn't seem to work. So that's going to be the next video. So uh, you can repair volumes. You can repair, for example, a RAID 5 volume here with a failed member. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that you can do here. It's a very powerful command. It is a command that is um, powerful enough to mess up <laughs> hard drives and uh, thumb drives. So be careful in the way you use it. And uh, one of the, if, if you want to use it really, basically two commands to first remember when you want to use the other commands to do something. Uh, list disk. This will give you all the disks that are plugged in right now. So for example, I've got my main drive, disk zero. This is a one terabyte drive internal to the machine. And here you see a 28 gigabyte size disk one, which is my 32 gigabyte thumb drive that's plugged in. Uh, so list disk is one of the commands that you need to at least know so that you can actually list the drives that are there. And then you have the select disk because if you wanna apply something to a disk, you need to do it like this. So you select disk one. And here you go. It says disk one is now selected, the selected disk. That means all the commands that I do here now are going to affect only disk one, not disk zero. 
So this is the basics of using this part. From there, you do whatever you want. You can shrink, you can whatever you want to do. Partition in two, three, four parts. Uh, all of that available with this command. And the reason why I wanted to talk about this command, I've been using it a lot and um, it is almost, you know what, when when you get used to the different commands, the pr different things you can do with this command, you get to a point where you just, you know, uh, don't use the disk uh, manager anymore from Windows and you prefer using the command line because it's more powerful and will do things that the regular storage uh, manager from Windows will probably not be able to do or doesn't want to do for some reason. So disk part, a very powerful command. If you have thumb drives, external hard drives, all sorts of things you want to play with, remember this command. It really, really is a very useful command. And of course, look at the next video. I'm going to show you how to repair a USB thumb drive. And by the way, that applies also to a hard drive if you've got some problems with a hard drive. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up if you like the videos. Hopefully you enjoy our videos and will continue following us on this channel. Thank you for watching.